Hey, what's up? It's Doug Cunnington here from Niche Site Project. This is another affiliate site teardown, and we're going to take a look at the site called This Is Why I'm Broke.com. Uh, this is sort of like a different take on the affiliate site, a novel approach. And I mean, they did a really, really good job, you know, launching this site and, you know, keeping it relevant. So, as normal, you know, we're going to take a look at some of the critical stats before we go into the teardown portion and because it's a different kind of a website we're gonna you know look at it a little bit differently but I'll take you through some different sections and you may be able to get some cool ideas from this is why I'm broke to add to a more standard affiliate site so I'm not sure if it'll translate um, in a big way, but if you have enough traffic on your site, you may be able to, you know, get some movement. One of the big differences from This Is Why I'm Broke versus other affiliate sites is This Is Why I'm Broke uh, looks to have a lot of, you know, social sharing because they have like funny type products on on their site, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So. If you haven't seen any of the other teardowns, I encourage you to go check out uh, the playlist on this channel, and you should be able to find you know at least uh, ten or eleven others, depending on when you watch this, or maybe up to about twenty or so. So this is an ongoing series, and if you want to see a wide range of Amazon affiliate sites, definitely check out the playlist. So let's get into it. Here we're going to take a look at uh, four different sections, um, or sorry, three different sections of this is why I'm broke plus the about page. So let's get started on Niche Site Project, which is my site, and look at the critical data. So this is why I'm broke was founded in May 2011. It has almost 200,000 words ranking in the top 100. As I mentioned, you know they really have um, a different model. So it's not built around content and posts and pages it's built around you know uh, just affiliate content and I think social sharing so let's take a look um, here and you see the you know the average number of estimated monthly visitors ranges from 351,000 to just under 3 million as normal um, SEMrush and similar web have very differing uh, metrics on how they determine this both of them are, are wrong, of course, and basically it's probably somewhere in the middle here is the accurate number. This graph represents uh, the traffic estimates from SEMrush, so you can see you know, just an upward trend. They haven't had any you know, real declines, especially you know, around any sort of what you would call a Google update, Google algorithm update, which is represented in most cases by these red uh, notes. You you can see back in the end of 2013 there was a jump, a pretty significant jump, and then another one here in early um, or sorry, it must be late 2015. So it's it's kind of interesting. Whenever there was a Google algorithm update, um, this is why I'm broke. Seem to get a bump, um, or at least that's the only time they got a major bump. And these are significant right so that's that's like uh, if I just had to guess that's like a 40% increase or 50% increase is pretty significant there so that is only representative of the keyword data though so we'll be clear on that purely an estimate but it's cool to see this graph along with the Google updates next we're going to take a look at the metrics so uh, from Moz, the domain authority is 55. Trust flow from Majestic is 23. There are a lot of index pages, almost 30,000, which is insane. Um, average time on site is listed as two minutes, and page views per visitor is like a little over two. Um, the balance rate said, uh, per similar web is about 66.8%. So pretty interesting Um stats overall um, that's kind of a lot of pages more than I thought but when you see the site if you haven't seen it before I think you're gonna understand why so let's go to the home page and right off the bat we see um, a little bit of a different look so there's a big uh, like 
section for the menus here. We're going to take a look at a few of these sections. Then there's a nice huge call to action where you could browse the deals on Amazon and this button goes to Amazon just straight up, right? <laughs> I mean, they want you to go to Amazon and look for deals. So they've kind of shaped themselves around like deals also. So let's just take a look at their homepage. So again, they have a search bar up here. You can log in, register. There's a menu. You have this huge call to action to go to Amazon, and then they just have what really makes up most of their site, and that is the just random product reviews. So we'll just jump right in. So we'll look at this Ren and Stimpy mask, and that is a horrific looking uh, little guy there, but you may remember Ren and Stimpy from the Nickelodeon show uh, from way back. I remember it when I was uh, like in middle school or so, so it's a uh, pretty old old show, but um, yeah, it looks crazy. So this goes to the post on This Is Why I'm Broke, which I'll open in a separate tab. But if you were to click on this uh, link right here, it goes to YouTube. So I won't click on that because it goes to YouTube, but you can also check it out. Oh, actually, okay, we will we'll click on it see what happens because this is a little different I, I don't know what's gonna happen here okay we have it we have an Alex Becker commercial here so uh, we'll, we'll skip this okay so it, it goes to a video and I assume there's some affiliate stuff here but maybe it's not. I, I'm actually a little confused. I, I picked a, a strange example. So I don't know the affiliate relationship here, but we'll remember um, the, the name uh, Andrew Freeman because I think that may come into, uh, come into play later. So they have the Ren and Stimpy uh, mask here. Uh, you could check it out. It goes to YouTube. So that's unusual. The next one may be more typical. So this goes to, this is this is why I'm broke uh, in the individual review. Uh, this goes to the product, and so does the check it out. So in this case, it's not, it doesn't look like it's actually an Amazon link, which is, is kind of funny. I'm doing this cold, by the way. I try and <laughs> try and come in uh, without too much preparation. So I, you could really see my reaction. Okay. We're going to work through this though. So the Ren and Stimpy story here, um, again, it goes to YouTube. They have some images of it. They look just really scary <laughs> looking. And, um, then they have more of their, it looks like an endless scrolling situation. So they just have more products here. So that's how a lot of them are set up, just in general. So I'm going to go ahead and close the YouTube tab. I'm going to um, come back here so we can take a quick look at the remote control Zamboni drink cooler here. And we see this is all the content they have, right? So they just have this little paragraph it's really only what like two three sentences and if we go back to the home page it's basically the same it's the same copy right so they don't put any time in content it's a volume play to try and keep people on this endless scrolling site and for people to share it so the idea you know they have a really uh prominent sharing section here so if someone's into like the Zamboni lifestyle <laughs> and uh, hockey and ice rinks and stuff, then they may share it with their friend. And you can see it's been you know saved many times for people that lo logged in. This um, I will actually just click it to see where this goes. So this is the Hamacher uh, Schlemmer Sch <laughs> Schlem. Uh, site of which I, you know, I'm not actually familiar with it at all, but it's some other affiliate program. So, like I said, I didn't look super closely, so we just followed a couple 
a couple links that are actually not Amazon affiliate, but if we go back, if we refocus here, we can see on the home page this does go to Amazon. So this picture goes to Amazon. This link right here goes to Amazon, this button. And then this post uh, is linked from the title. So glow in the dark sand. So we'll go ahead and open this page. And it's been saved many times. So glow in the dark sand, very interesting. And if you click the image, it takes you to Amazon. This is their affiliate link. And then this button is also an affiliate link. Um, they also have this prominent banner here uh, for the deals on Amazon. So that's notable. And then as normal, they just keep showing you these most popular items here. So a lot of uh, <laughs> pretty, pretty funny stuff. I won't even call it out, but you can see there's some pretty amusing stuff here. Um, a lot of it's not safe for work, as you can see. That's actually a good book. This is a good book right here. You should check that out. And yeah, there's just like endless items, right? Endless scrolling. Like once you get into it, it's pretty, it's pretty fun. So there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on here. Let's focus up. And okay, ne next part we're gonna go to the about page. So this is the about page. It's a free online magazine. Blah 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 blah. So this is pretty like generic up here, but it holds true to you know what they're trying to do. So they say, we don't carry any of the products, we don't sell them directly, um, we just make a commission. They have a contact form, they allow people to submit a product, you know, if it's cool. Um, and then what, um, I lost the page, naturally. Okay, then they talk about the staff, and they have Adam uh, Friedman is listed here. So if you remember before when I was showing you this Ren and Stimpy uh, YouTube video here, um, you can see uh, sculptor Andrew Freeman. I'm not 100% sure if this is a different person, but the... Um, you know, it makes me think it's maybe the same person because they have this, like, this is probably like the number one clicked thing here. So I, I'm not sure, but it could be that there's some relationship between them. Okay, so they have a couple other people on staff. They may have more. Um, chances are um, they have a slick API situation where they can just, you know, pull items from Amazon and other affiliate um, areas. And, you know, even though they, there are you know, thousands of items listed on the site, you can see that it's pretty, like, basic. So they've had mentions in Time Magazine, The Huffington Post, MSN, Gizmodo, and so on and so forth. I mean, they've been all over the place. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, they are able to, you know, hold such a strong position in the affiliate marketing area. So let's look at a couple of the sections that they have. So you see they've divided it up in a way that is logical. And there are even more categories here. So let's just take a look at a couple and see where it goes. So a couple cool things. So they've changed up the... Uh, navigation just a bit. So now you have all the categories listed over on the left side. And you can see there's there's uh, like even more on the left side because there's DIY and craft ideas. So they're really sort of positioning themselves almost as a social site in some ways. So again, they have brief copies. So there's only like a couple sentences here. And you can set the price range. So, you know, you can go from zero to 140, it looks like. And then it filters stuff out. So super cool. You could also uh, order it from highest to lowest price, newest, or whatever, right? There's four options here, or most popular. So it's listed as most popular. This is the default setting here. So there are items 
in which you know women would like. This is the gifts for women section. So if you're looking for a gift idea for a woman, then a person could look here. So you could just sort of browse and get some ideas and they don't even show the full set of the copy, but you'll notice they have the same sort of setup here. So jewelry holder tree. So I'll just click this and you can see they just have, um, you know, an image. It's, this image isn't even high quality, right? I mean, it's kind of, it looks like it's been stretched. <laughs> it doesn't look like a high res image. Um, they have their standard set up here. So picture of the item that's an Amazon link. They have this link to go to Amazon for the deal section. Um, small amount of copy about the product and then the check it out section. Um, they do list the price, so they must have an API on the backside that's pulling that data. And then, as I mentioned, they just want to keep you on the site, so it's an endless scroll theater here. It just keeps going forever. So as we move on, you can see um, gifts for men, same deal, right? So they have um, a little toolkit listed, uh, fantasy football championship belt. I bet that's uh, pretty popular. And yeah, so you can just see they have stuff that makes sense for you know stereotypical men uh, gifts. Okay. So as we're looking through, I'll just arbitrarily click on one. So I've seen these before, Fat Grips. It's for uh, um, basically working out. It increases your hand strength. So this is one of those kind of you know products. And like I said, it goes to Amazon when you click on those. So you see that's the product there. Then um, if we were to click on this, it actually just goes to you know the page with a couple images and a little bit of copy, not much. So really they're just hoping that there's enough traffic on the site that you know, people are gonna check things out like that. And next, let's take a look at the gear and gadgets here. So same kind of deal. Um, so you'll notice that they have the navigation um, sort of expanded out. So for gear and gadgets, there are a lot of subcategories here. And then of course they list all the other main categories, but let's just um, you know dive in a little bit deeper just to see like apocalypse survival, <laughs> all right? I'll play along. Okay, so they have like some sort of a battle hatchet ax thing and then the forearm ammo sleeve, um, which seems a little, you know, zombie oriented. And a few other, you know, that this one's a little more fun, a family size sleeping bag. So tons of items and you can see that there are <laughs> just endless ways to, um, you know, f group the items. This section is all apocalypse survival. Okay, let that sink in for a second. All right, and then let's go on to like musical instruments. I play the guitar a little bit, so this is uh, like a fun section. So, you know, they have different, you know, stuff around guitars. So there's a little mini amplifier. There's a pick maker. I actually have one of those little Marshall mini amps and uh, it just takes like a nine volt battery. Um, so, yeah, they just have tons of music related items. So they just scour and scour the internet and find different products to offer. So let's look at alcohol gear just one more time since I'm now getting into the rabbit hole here. So we have the breathalyzer, <laughs> the portable breathalyzer thing. Um, it's only $27, which seems like a great bargain. They have a, a tap system here, which seems cool. Um, it's about beer 30 where I'm at right now, so that is something to get into. They have a small home brewing system here, which is cool, and then they have this beer koozie necktie. So, I mean, I just wanna send this to all my friends already. So you can see, once you hit on a certain area that you're interested in, well, it's easy to get sucked in. So you can see that basically this site, This Is Why I'm Broke, had a totally different take 
compared to any of the other sites I've reviewed, which are really long form content. The big companies like Outdoor Gear Lab, Baby Gear Lab, you have like uh, the Sweet Home, the Wire Cutter. Those are all like big content plays. And this is a viral sharing volume of, you know, post play. As I mentioned before, there are about 27, there's probably a lot more. Um, this data could be a little bit old by the time you're watching it. There's probably, you know, thousands and thousands more. But I mean, we're talking over 27,800 posts, which is crazy. So you may be able to implement some things like this on your site. You will have to be creative and I would say, you know, would be something where you would need a viral component, number one. And number two, it would be most helpful if you had a, an API um, sort of hookup, an automated way to get these posts out here because, um, you know, you're going to need a lot of them when you can compare you know, some of the sites that I work on, I feel like they're large with, you know, over 150 posts. You know, that's kind of large. That's a lot of content. And these are, you know, a whole different level. Now, the thing is, it's a much smaller site. Um, or so sorry, it's a much smaller bit of content per post, but so many more posts. So that concludes this teardown. And if you found this interesting, uh, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. You'll be able to find a bunch of other teardowns, um, probably 10 or more. And if you want to get keywords for other Amazon affiliate sites, you can head over to my site, nichesiteproject.com. If you sign up for the email list, I'll send you, I think it's about 15,000 keywords, 1,000 from each of the sites that I've reviewed on Niche Site Project and in this video series. So thanks for checking it out, really appreciate it. Again, I'm Doug Cunnington from Niche Site Project.